Hey guys, Serpent X here, and today I wanted to talk to you about a little device uh, that's coming out. It's actually been around uh, for a bit here. Uh, a guy uh, named David, GPU Hoarder, uh, on Bitcoin Talk forums have been presenting this particular project. And if you look at it, it's an M.2 drive. So this M.2 drive has a huge heat sink on it, maybe a fan. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you could probably get some custom cooling or use your own custom cooling, but it comes with this components to keep it nice and cool because underneath that heatsink is a, um, and I'm, forgive me if I'm wrong, a, either a Z-Lynx or Xilinx, uh, it's a FPGA VCU 1525. That's the main GPU, CPU component that is built into these little M.2 drives. And these uh, components here are basically there to help you or help your, your graphics card in the mining process. So things that it might get bogged down on, it improves your hash rate while reducing the power draw. So there's a couple of variables that we want to talk about here when it comes to these uh, devices. So the pricing, $329. Now, there's no stati statistical data out yet. People have been asking for it on Bitcoin Talk. I haven't personally seen it. It can improve your hash rate while using less electricity, but how much of a hash rate improvement is it? Uh, we're still working it out. We're still waiting for batches. Right now, you can order um, and August is done. Like August was an option, but it's done. Like People already pre-ordered this and now they're just waiting. Now, GPU hoarder David is backlogged or, or you know, he's got a bunch of back orders he's got to fill. He's got to build these components, uh, ship them, all that good stuff. And, and it's coming from right here in the US. Uh, he is able to ship international. So um, double check that, but I, I, I'm pretty sure he can ship internationally. So if you're interested in this, you just need an M.2 drive but that uh, M.2 slot needs to be able to, to do to run normal bandwidth. So um, you're going to need a one, you know, by four uh, slot, uh, which is what the PCI slot, which is what these drives normally use or normal M.2 drives normally use. Uh, they also have add in cards out there, but the normal add in cards that you can pick up for 20 bucks uh, or less is not going to be the same. The ones that they have here uh, require um, what looks to be like uh, VRMs and, and uh, MOSFETs. Now, I don't, I haven't seen an actual picture of it. It's just a uh, generated photo, but uh, I think you need something a little bit special because you need to carry a lot of bandwidth for these particular drives to really get their full uh, power or performance out. So, talking about this particular device with FPGAs growing in the mining community, which is great. Um, this company here says it sells a dev kit. Of their own, uh, you know, FPGAs, uh, and you can see it has, you know, DRAM slots and everything, and and uh, MOSFETs and VRMs and 8-pin connector and all that good stuff. But the real brains or the real thing that makes FPGAs stand out from the rest is that they're programmable, right? So if you set up this particular device to mine, uh, you know, X16R to the moon and it does a really great job, it's performing good, then that uh, algorithm goes to crap, then you can reprogram it to be better at mining another algorithm and so on and so forth. You can actually program these, whereas when you get a 1070 or a 580, uh, you know, it's good at what it's mining and, and that's what it's good at. So if those algorithms and, and other things go to crap and it can't mine anything else very well, then you're stuck like Chuck, but at least you have resale value. So with the acorns, the catch is, should I get in, just save my money and get another GPU or should I get this Acorn? Now this one in particular is good at mining from what it says here, Lira 2 and X16R, like Verge, Ravencoin, Monocoin, Vertcoin, all that good stuff. Uh, so it would boost that performance, kind of like Ogata Company's uh, ETH, ETH Large Mint Pill. Uh, so with a 1080 Ti that I currently have in my main system, I'm getting around 50 mega hashes or plus uh, 51, 52, where before I was getting 34, 35. This will, in essence, do the same thing. So maybe I might go from 50 mining Ethereum all the way up to maybe 70. And now I'm just speculating because even on the Bitcoin talk forum, people have been speculating about the actual performance. Some people posted some numbers 
um, posted their their current you know link speed um, and making sure that everything is, is working correctly but we really won't know until we actually get some full reviews and get the actual product in our hands I just want to talk about the performance and and give you links to data sheets and stuff like that which I will get to here in a moment there's three different products the three different products is the CLE 101 the CLE 215 and then the plus this one right here the 215 and the 215 plus are good at the Lira 2 and the X16R but when I found this other page on the site it says that the 215 plus is good at the uh, ETH hash kryptonite v1 Lira 2 revision 2 and X16R so I can't I, I can't speculate because I don't have the device in my hand I do have an extra M.2 slot open I am intrigued by this product and I'm thinking about getting it however I'm weighing out the pros and cons because where you know that the new GPUs are probably on the horizon from Nvidia and by the time you even get this batch shipped by the time he gets this batch shipped out uh, it's probably going to be mid to end of September which the new GPU should be out either before then or around the same time along with some new ASICs so kind of you want to kind of weigh out uh, the pros and cons and whether you think this is a good investment now you can check out with two things but the add the cart and the normal checkout you're only gonna be able to pay by check so you're gonna process the order put in your information when you hit place order you're literally gonna have to mail a check to the address that they provide you or if you have crypto like Bitcoin and, and Ethereum you can pay with uh, minority which is new they used to have a different uh, crypto processor but now you can pay with minority uh, so you know double check your information uh, don't take my word for granted do your own research I'm gonna give links to all of this information I'm going over below I can't go over everything in detail but long story short uh, the development of this hash rate booster is a private mining farm Arc acorn has been kept private so this was a private you know like little tight niche group that's just basically talking about it hey try this should we try this doing some coding doing some development um, and it's now spread and now they're under the name Squirrel Research Labs and their actual website is squirrelresearch.com you can go there and certainly check out their products uh, these pages that I found with more information I got through Bitcoin Talk which will be linked in the description uh, and basically the Acorn, the small one, so the 101 is you know uh, has uh, only 512 megabytes while the bigger one's got one gigabyte and they can perform certain operations that the GPU can't so they're there to assist the GPU it's not like you could just plug this in and then mine using only that FPGA no you have to use this combined with your graphics processors to mine it now there's another catch one acorn can't boost the whole eight card rig it can boost depending on the algorithm and that's the key there depending on the algorithm like I could take two 1080 Ti's put my M.2 uh, uh, FPGA card uh, acorn in there and I could probably boost the 1080 Ti's hash rate the two cards so if I run, want to run multiple cards uh, there's a couple things that you're going to want to verify first for example here we have the acorn nest x4 and basically it's an adapter card it doesn't go in a, in a buy four or buy one slot no and it goes in a full regular PCI Express uh, 2.0 or 3.0 by 8 or by 16 so you need those lanes available if you don't have those lanes available that's gonna be a problem don't buy this if you don't have the lanes available or the motherboard can't support it or maybe if you have some drives because you know these lanes are shared with SATA devices U.2 all that stuff so double check your motherboard manual first um, they have uh, a 2 setup and, and this is the thing this is a cartoon animation but I can go to Amazon, I can go to eBay, and I can get these adapter cards that allow me to connect M.2 for storage. But if you notice, these use the normal PCI 16 uh, running at by 8 or by 16, excuse me. Um, and I'm not sure if this cartoon animation is accurate, but there's got to be some type of chipset or something to allow that type of bandwidth or to split the bandwidth or to allow these drives to get full potential. You can't just get a regular. $20 or less adapter, plug these A cords in and, and expect to get the full bandwidth and the full performance. It's not going to work that way. So you might want to double check and make sure that your motherboard's got M.2 support. If you're trying to use an adapter, you're probably going to have to get an adapter from Squirrel themselves uh, because I don't believe that the, the ones that are out there right now will work. If you do, 
uh, put it on YouTube and let other people know because that that will be something beneficial. Because right now they're charging 109 for the, the two, which was only 99 the other day, like yesterday actually. It was 99 bucks, and now the four is 140. So these are pretty decent devices. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed. I look forward to testing them, but I'm honestly probably not going to sign up until the first couple batches go out until we can verify that they're performing uh, the way they are that they're working the the bugs if there's any bugs in the software because there is uh, software that apparently comes with it I I've never touched it so I don't know how it works uh, so besides that I'm gonna move on let's see if I wanted to see if I could show you the software they're talking about did he take it off his page I wonder if he no here we go squirrel miner so I'm assuming that's the proprietary software that's going to be coming to you with these devices uh, where you can monitor your, your mining stats, uh, GPU health, all that good stuff. Automatic tuning, that's pretty interesting. So automatic tuning, uh, benchmarks, Acorns, GPUs, and CPUs for algor algorithm performance and PCI bandwidth and latency. That I am intrigued at. And here are the algorithms that they say it supports. Again, we haven't tested it yet, and uh, somebody recently on the Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin Talk forum said that they were only able to mine Kikek with it at this present moment. That doesn't mean the final product won't be able to mine the algorithms they state. Just give it time. This is a brand new product. It's a startup. These guys need time to fine tune everything, get the bugs out, work out everything, and work with the customers. So the people who pre-ordered, you're going to be working with the, the, the Squirrel Research Labs team to try to get everything situated so that way the rest of the batches that come out have all the final products, all no, all the bells and whistles, no bugs. Now the dev kit um, is pretty expensive, but if you're interested in getting it, they got one that comes with a uh, you know a G normal GPU shroud and fan, and then they got one that's passive. So it's just air cooled, nothing else. But you can stick, uh, I believe, oh, 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory into these FPGAs. Uh, program them to be efficient at whatever product you want but the main bread and butter that's coming on these acorns is right here the VCU 1525 right there in the center that's what's coming on these little chips and um, I'm interested to see how how big they are because they're gonna be a little bit bigger than M.2 especially in height I don't know the actual height but I know that they're gonna be bigger now below in the description I'm gonna link the data sheet what you're looking for in this data sheet is uh, not VCU 1525 where is it I'll try to get it for you here right here um, no that's not it either where did it go in the data sheet there's a specific um, right here XCVU9P if you look that up in the data sheet you can get all the um, information you need about the the, the voltage uh, clocks, thermo, basically from my understanding the TJ Maxx for these things are going to be around normal M.2 if not a little bit more. Uh, you don't really want to push ADC, uh, that's why they come with huge heat sinks. You just really want to boost your GPU and, and that's pretty much it. Don't try to burn the damn thing out. U9P. Alright, so there's some information. I'm not going to go through this entire data sheet. I was perusing through it, but you want to uh, go through it feel free I'll have it linked in the description XCV U9P is what you're looking for that would give you the information you need for this particular um, GPU or FPGA uh, device and then here on this website DigiKey you can actually order of course you're gonna order in bulk I believe um, you can actually order the die itself and here's the operating temperature right here so it's from 100 C to 110 C and I'm actually curious about that because I saw on the data sheet it can go down to negative 60 Celsius or negative 40 uh, I, d I doubt that using exotic cooling, cooling like uh, liquid nitrogen will help but you know people that use Novak probably can reap some benefits with the device being uh, at sub-zero temps performing at its absolute max and boosting their GPUs but that's another topic for another day uh, I just wanted to overload this this particular video with a bunch of information acorns are coming out FPGAs are, are, are pop again first off FPGAs are getting popular because of the mining scene and this is gonna open up doors and avenues because there isn't much software out there 
this is going to open up more doors and avenues for devs to develop the software. Now, whether or not they're going to share it with us, we don't know because there is software out there for these FPGAs for, for all kinds of uses. We used for audio enhancement and coding, all kinds of stuff these FPGAs can be used for. Uh, but now that it's venturing into the mining scene, I'm hoping that the people that do develop these software for these FPGAs will share them with the world rather than keep them to the collective selves. Uh, you know, companies might have an, a, a tech person or a developer build a, a, a specific uh, software or, or encode an FPGA specifically for their needs at their company, but that information will be proprietary, so they couldn't share that. But as mining grows, even though profits are down, the devices used to mine are the technology at least is growing so we got asics that are coming out um soon in batches we got fpjs that are getting popular acorn a little m.2 drive that can apparently boost your overall mining hash rate and performance while saving because they're only 15 watts while saving electricity so 15 watts that's not bad um of course uh look at the information that I provided in the description below and make your own judgments. Whether or not you're gonna go get a, just get a new graphics card for the pricing that you're paying, or you're gonna decide to get this and maybe boost uh, two GPUs at a time. I would think if you had an eight card system, you need what, four? And hopefully they can boost more than just two cards because if you're just boosting two cards, then I really don't see how this will be mass, this won't be adopted as well. Uh, maybe it will, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I'm interested. I like the product. I don't. I'm not going to invest in it yet, but it is something I'm going to keep my eye on, and hopefully you will too. So check them out, SquirrelResearch.com. Uh, if you have any questions, I got some questions myself, but just comment below. We'll uh, brainstorm, go back and forth, see what we see. If we can get some information, uh, some more info about this. Try to help each other out. Um, comment, you know, like, share, subscribe. Uh, I'm definitely planning on getting this and when I do uh, you want to be subscribed because I will post a video about that now that may not be till September uh, maybe not even to November because I mean the dates are gonna get pushed further and further back so September October November so uh, if you really are interested in this and you don't want to be the first test dummy there's gonna be a couple guys uh, I, that I know tech uh, tech tubers crypto miners that are gonna be testing it out first uh, I'm gonna try to coordinate with them or talk to them and see how it goes and then I'm gonna get one myself Shortly thereafter. Anyways, I'm out of here guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time